This is a video going over the function as well as the code and state diagram and flowchart of a row traffic light using STM32F nucleo board. As you can see, we have six LEDs, which are then connected to corresponding 220 ohm resistors. And each one of those is going to individual outputs from the circuit board. We're utilizing PA4 through PA9. Additionally, um, we have two sets of two momentary push button switches. One set is connected to PA0 and the other set is connected to PA1. When one of these uh, is pressed, it will produce a signal going through the input through PA0. And that works for both the top button and the bottom button. They will both put an input for PA0 as well as for this one. Top and bottom will both push a um, input to PA1. Coming up here, this is how the traffic light works. The program is started. We initialize RCC, the reset handler, the motors, the pull up, pull down resistors, and the output data read. So then initially we'll turn on our north south green, which is going to be the left side of the circuit board, right over here. We're going to have a two second delay. And then we're going to go into a trigger sequence. The two second delay is going to be used as a safety feature for any oncoming traffic before the next sequence of lights is pressed. Go into north, south, yellow, east, west, red. We're going to delay. And then we're going to come up to north, south, red, east, west, green. And then we're going to delay. That's where it's going to be stuck in its loop. It's going to be there for um, until the signal is pressed. If there is triggered, it's going to then say, Let's go down here for two seconds, north, south, red, east, west, yellow, delay, and then it's going to repeat and then come back up to the next diamond. Going over the code, we initially have the initial um, initialization of the program. We're going to start the clocks. We're going to enable the GPIOA motors, the output uh, data registers for PA1 or correction PA4 through 9. The input data registers, which is going to be the PA0 and PA1, and the an internal pull-up resistors, which is going to be connected to um, PA0 and PA1. So then we're going to start the initialization of the actual program. So we initialize the clocks, the motors, the pull-up, pull-down resistors, and then we start getting into the output um, data registers. If I can get this to focus. So the actual core of the program starts right here. So you can see the first phase that actually starts is going to be going to be state zero, and that's going to be right here. We're going to have the north, south, green, east, west start, and then it's going to go down. It's going to get its its function. And this is the one of the first nested loops. Here's the main loop one of the nested loops and then the second nested loop. So once it gets an input read from the east-west sensor, it's then gonna compare it to itself and then it's gonna branch if equal to. And then if it's branching, it's gonna reset back. Otherwise, it's gonna continue through the, se the sequence of lights going to state two and so forth and so forth. Once it's in state two, stuck in this loop, it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to wait until it gets an input from, from the east-west sensor, and then it's going to branch if equal, so it's going to keep repeating. Once it gets that differential, it's going to come back down and continue through the north-south red, east-west yellow, and then loop all the way back up to the top for the initial part where it's going to go back to the north-south green, east-west red. And function check, it's already been loaded onto the board. Doing a reset right now. So as you can see, on the far left side here, we have the north-south sequence of lights and the east-west sequence of lights. If we go over here and we press the east-west sensor, you have the sequence turn in favor east-west. You press the north-south, you get the same thing in favor of north-south. You press the opposite side of the east-west, you get the corresponding, as well as the south side of the north-south road. And that's a function check for a roll traffic light using assembly language.